are joined now by the LSC Tournament Champion Tarleton State Texans Women's Basketball Program. In the center of our podium is head coach Misty Wilson. To her right is Ipaku Awobi. Ipaku is a senior forward from Houston, Texas. On the near side we have Bailey Whiff. Bailey is a senior guard from Lubbock, Texas. And Coach, normally I ask for initial impressions on a ball game, but I'm going to start out. How do you recover from a 24 to 6 deficit in the first half or first quarter and then come back and win the ball game? Well, before I answer your question, I do want to give Angelo a ton of credit. They've had a heck of a season, and it's going to continue in the regional tournament, and they'll be a great Lone Star representative in the regional tournament as well. Um, so many weapons, so hard to guard, and, and just every game we've had with them this year has been a battle, and, and Coach Baker has done an outstanding job with that program. And, um, and uh, you know, we, we tip our hat to them because it, it was a heck of a game. Like Bailey said a while ago, she said it wouldn't have been it wouldn't have been great if we hadn't have gotten down and then come back. But uh, to answer your question, uh, you just chip away. Um, you know, we got kicked in the teeth when we first came out. I mean, we, that's just the the fact of it. And um, you know, called a timeout and just told them we've got to continue to chip away. We've got to get some stops. And uh, we don't need anybody to be a hero right now. Um, we can do this together, but we can't do it alone. And uh, they, they bought in and they did that, chipped away. But that wasn't the way you wanted to start. <laughs> but you, you, you started chipping away. Ipaku started getting the ball underneath. Uh, Mackenzie Haley just had a tremendous ball game for you. She did. Um, there was a stretch there that, uh, that Pac really carried us. There was a stretch that Mac really carried us. And then there was a stretch that Bailey really carried us. And uh, those three girls are outstanding young ladies. And um, they can carry the weight of the world. And they did this evening. And uh, you know, when I took Pac out during her little stretch, I mean, she got so much appreciation from our fans because it, was, it wasn't necessarily that she was scoring or that she was doing all this stuff. She just she was doing dirty work. She was getting offensive rebounds. She was uh, battling down there in the paint and, and being physical. And that's not easy. That's not easy to do for 40 minutes. And she did it. Bailey, we'll start with you. You had 18 points, five rebounds. I'm going to talk defense here. Taylor Dorsey had 16 at the end of the first quarter. She had 19 before the second quarter, barely started, and then only had seven points the rest of the way. What, what was the difference over the last three quarters defensively against her? You know, we all – T did a very good job just keeping her in front, and then if she got past T, we had our back line <coughs> ready to help whenever needed. Paku, talk about the defensive end on the, the rebounding. Yeah, out rebounded by two, that's not a lot, but uh, 16 offensive rebounds for the Texans. You had four of them. Uh, rebounding was a key tonight, and we knew that coming in. We knew that we were going to have to get good positioning because Angelo is a team that you can't take for granted on the boards. Coach, I'll ask you one more before we open it to the media. As I look at the uh, South Central Region standings, I don't see the Texans in there, and now they're going to be in there. So uh, your thoughts on, I won't say kicking the door in, but opening the door and, and going postseason? Um, honestly, I coach because of these players. And uh, every game I was so nervous. I was so um, – I put a lot of pressure on myself to get these girls, these seniors, the senior class, to um, – to that regional and to experience something like this. And, uh, you know, I, I told them we didn't have a great season. You know, we were up and down, and, and they were the, you know, were a product of some of our youth. And uh, just to be able to get them to this point, I'm going to get choked up a little bit, but um, it is, was my end goal and my and really my motivation through the tournament. But you're not satisfied just getting there. Not, not, no, not by, not by any means. I think we'll go try to kick the door in there as well and, and do what we can to represent this wonderful conference. Questions for Tarleton State. Coach, um, how much of slowing Dorsey down was actually stopping and turning the ball over there near the midcourt between your own midcourt line and half court? It seemed like she got some loose balls there and got loose. Why don't y'all stop that? She didn't really hurt you. Yeah, uh, we turned the ball over a lot early, and that was one thing. That was one of our keys is value the ball. And uh, we knew that if we turned the ball over, it was going to lead to quick things at the other end for them, uncontested stuff. Um, and then uh, even on rebounds, though, because they've got so many big girls and they know they're going to get that defensive rebound most of the time, and she just would take off up the sideline. So we, we adjusted a little bit. We did something a little bit defensively um, to make sure that we had a defender on her when she took off, and it paid off. She asked you that question. That was you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Everybody's laughing. 
how tense was that third quarter? There were eight lead changes and five ties in the third quarter. It just seemed like momentum was just imbalanced the whole time. I think Bailey wants to answer that one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, as I said earlier, they're a very good team, and we knew that we just needed to chip away, and then when we got ahead, we needed to try to extend the lead. I'm going to ask this of Hipaku because you've been up here before and you're used to handling the tough questions. Mm -hmm. You fall behind early. You chip away, as Coach says, to catch up. But in the fourth quarter, when it comes time to put your, th your foot down on the throat, you guys hit 66% from the field. Talk about <laughs> offense finishing the game. Coming into the fourth quarter, it was tied, wasn't it? It was tied. Yes. So we knew it was 0-0, and you just had to start extending the lead and score and get a stop. Score and get a stop. We just knew that was the key. We were prepared for it. More questions for the Texans. Coach, it seems like all year you're battling adversity. You can just talk about them a little bit. How do you do that? Um, I, I can't really say how they do it. Um, you know, I just I just get to watch. But um, they're they're very they're very coachable. They they'll do exactly what I ask. I mean, so many plays that I've drawn up at the end of games this year, they they execute them perfectly and. Um, they're they're just an outstanding group of young women. I mean, character and. and when you coach that kind of young women, it makes it very easy to do this job. Hawk, you weren't picked as an all-league member this year. You played the chip on your shoulder this week, husband? Uh, not so much played. Oh, yeah, I guess I did. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, I like being kind of like an underdog person that, you know, it, all eyes weren't on me, and that's what I needed. Bailey, she said she likes being an underdog. You all were definitely in that role after losing your season finale last week and coming in here as a five seed. What was the mentality you all took to each game? Uh, we wanted to win. We knew we could win. We've been talking all year how that uh, we were capable of winning every game. It didn't. Sh we didn't always pull it out at the end, but uh, this tournament definitely showed what we're made of. Any further questions? Up three late, Bailey. Do you want the ball in your hands off the inbound? Yeah. I like shooting free throws. <laughs> the process being, you're either going to make the field goal or go to the line for the shots, right? Yes, sir. On, on that note, Coach, you're 21 27 at the free throw line. And obviously, that it, it seemed like every time it went 5 3, you ought to do a couple free throws and it'd be 5 again. And how, how huge was the free throws? Oh, uh, huge. And, uh, you know, it, it, that again goes back to just the, the mental strength of these players. And um, at crunch time and times when, you know, there is a lot of pressure on you just stepping up there and relaxing and knocking them down. Coach, talk about how this is a young group. Assess how they've come along from the beginning of the year until now. Well, I think you can look at our fourth quarter and see, you know, the improvement um, because for a long time there, it was fourth quarters that were kind of our Achilles heel. And um, we weren't able to finish games uh, as strong as we would like. We weren't able to uh, get a lead and keep it. We would give it up quickly. Um, and then even the fact that we only had 10 turnovers the way we started the game, I'm sure we had probably eight, it felt like, in the first uh, two minutes. But um, just taking care of the ball. And, uh, we, and we actually got the opportunity to see somebody else's scouting report on us the other day. And, and I guess they stated it best, and they're playing much more efficient. And, and that's what we started doing. We started taking care of the ball, and we played much more efficient. Not that we scored every time, but we got good shots. On the flip side of that, you got three really consistent vets in Pac, Bailey, and Tremont. You talk about those three. They're big for this group. Uh, big is probably the understatement of the year. Um, uh, <laughs> hey, what, what these girls mean to this program is I don't know that I can put it into words. Um, just Pac and Tori being here four years. Bailey, if I had it any other way, I would have taken her uh, that first year, but she knew she was going to come back to us, and we knew she was going to come back. And um, just to have these girls to build with and to show these young girls what it takes um, if you came to our practices and you saw what these girls, these three, these three, these two, and then Tori gave every day, um, you would, in no doubt, um, be in awe. Any more questions for the Texans? <laughs> Congratulations on a tournament championship, and best of luck next week. Yeah, thank, thank you. you.